Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this session we are going to study about one of the most important methods of purification of water. This method is extremely useful and has such high rate of purification that we can actually convert sea water into drinking water by using just this one method and that is reverse osmosis. Let us see in detail what exactly is reverse osmosis and how it's been done. Reverse osmosis. It is a water purification technology that uses a semi-permeable membrane to remove ions, molecules and larger particles from drinking water. Now what do I mean by semi-permeable membrane? What do I mean by a membrane? Membrane is nothing but a small thin sheet or film which has extremely small pores in it. Now these pores are so small that only the water molecules can actually penetrate through it and not the impurities. Now when I'm talking about impurities, I'm talking about all kinds of impurities. We have suspended impurities, we have colloidal impurities and we have bacterial impurities. Bacterial impurities or biological impurities are all the bacteria which are present in the water. When I'm talking about colloidal impurities, colloidal impurities are nothing but the ions which are present in water which do not get sedimented or which do not come at the bottom because of the plus and minus charge and they keep on attracting and repelling each other inside the water. So those are my colloidal impurities. But this membrane helps to only penetrate the water molecules out of it and all other molecules or all other impurities are not allowed to penetrate through it. Let us see how this exactly happens. Reverse osmosis can remove many types of dissolved and suspended species from water including bacteria and is used for both industrial process and in the production of portable water. Now when I am talking about portable water I mean drinking water that means the water we get after doing this process is so pure so clean that we can actually drink this water. This pure water also does not contain any kind of salts or any kind of ions in it and that is the reason why it can be easily used for many industrial processes. When I am using water for industrial processes I am getting the water direct into the contact with machineries with many devices and appliances now if this water is a pure water then the salts or the oxides or the ions present in the water may react with the machines and those machines which are extremely useful as well as extremely expensive can get degraded so that is the reason why we need to be extremely careful when we use water for industrial purposes for cleaning or for mixing with any other kind of chemicals or for reactions that water needs to be extremely pure and that is ensured by doing the reverse osmosis process. It is most commonly used for the purification of sea water and trying to convert it into drinking water. As I said in the very first point the sea water can also be converted into drinking water by using just one process and that process is reverse osmosis. Now let us see what exactly is this process, what principle and what technique does this process use why this one process can ensure that all the impurities whatever kind it may be will just be left behind and whatever we get on the other end is nothing but pure water so how exactly does this process work principle of reverse osmosis the reversal of solvent flow from higher concentration solution to lower concentration solution through a semi permeable membrane that is spm by applying an external pressure slightly higher than the osmotic pressure of higher concentration solution is known as reverse osmosis. Let me explain the entire principle to you with the help of a diagram. So over here what we have is diagram. This is osmosis. This is reverse osmosis. Now osmosis is nothing but we have a membrane over here. There is solvent C1 and C2 and then C2 is of higher concentration than C1. Over here what is happening we have reverse osmosis. Now focus over here. The water that we have over here is sea water or polluted water. This is the water which needs to be purified. The water we have below is pure water. So just because of this one membrane the sea water will get converted into pure water. This is by using a semi permeable membrane. So what do we do over here is we have a piston. Now why do we have pistons? Pistons are generally used for creating a pressure. That means we will create and generate pressure into the sea water which is slightly higher than the osmotic pressure. And because of this slight highness of the osmotic pressure, the increase in pressure will lead to flow of particles from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. Pure water over here is nothing but my lower concentration. Sea water is higher concentration because the density is more because it does not only contain water but contains all kinds of impurities in it. So from higher concentration to lower concentration the solvent will move. What is the solvent? Water. 
That means the water will move from higher concentration to the lower concentration process by using a semi permeable membrane. Now, through this membrane, only my H2O molecules or my water molecules can move and not all the other impurities which are present in it. In reverse osmosis, we apply external pressure on higher concentration solutions, slightly higher than the osmotic pressure. It is very important that the pressure should be slightly higher than the osmotic pressure or else it will not work at all. Because this entire process works on only one principle and that principle is nothing but osmotic pressure. So if the external pressure which is applied is slightly higher than the osmotic pressure, then the entire reverse osmosis process starts. The flow of the solvent takes place in reverse direction that is from higher concentration solution to the lower concentration solution. Over here the higher concentration solution is nothing but my sea water and the lower concentration solution is nothing but my pure water. Thus in reverse osmosis process we separate water from its contaminants rather than contaminants from water. Generally what do we do when we have boiling, we have filtration, we have all other processes, we try to remove all the impurities from the water. And when we do that, what do we do? There are some kinds of impurities which remain in it. But when we try to remove water from the impurities, we make sure that only water comes out and anything and everything apart from water will stay. This ensures that the water is extremely safe, 100% pure. This is the logic behind it. Removing water from the impurities and not impurities from the water. Now let us see the actual method by which it works. So method, sea water is filled in a reverse osmosis cell. A pressure of around 200 to 800 psi is applied on it to force the solvent to pass through SPM. Let me show you with the help of a diagram. So over here, what do I have? This is my reverse osmosis tank. Over here, I have an outlet. This outlet is for pure water. Over here, I have sea water. Now this sea water is applied a pressure of around 200 to 800 PCI, which is slightly higher than the osmotic pressure. And because of that, the reverse osmosis starts. And all the solvent particles inside this will go and pass through a semi-permeable membrane and come over here to the lower concentration. Semi-permeable membrane, SPM has porosity that it allows only H2O molecules to pass through it and higher sized ions are prohibited from passing. So what exactly happens over here? The membrane has a porosity. Now what do I mean by porosity? Porosity is nothing but the pores present in the membrane. The pores, the size of the pores is so small that only the H2O molecules can pass through it and all the higher sized ions or all the higher sized impurities are left behind. And that is the reason why when we use this method, we can eliminate all the impurities and just take away water with the help of this semi-permeable membrane and a little pressure. The membrane consists of a polymeric material film made up of proper porosity from materials like acrylics, polyamides, aramides, etc. It is very important to understand that this semi-permeable membrane, the SPM is the heart, is the logic of the entire reverse osmosis process and the porosity of it should be perfectly fine. And that is the reason why we do not use any natural substances for it. The entire SPM is made man-made with human. It is made up of materials like acrylics, polyamides and make sure that the pores are of the exact size which will help only H2O to pass from it and no other impurities can penetrate through it. So we are in today's session we studied about reverse osmosis, the principle of it, the method of it and why it is so important. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.